everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mars and I'm a third year at Ballarat Clinical School. And today I'm gonna to take you through a day of my life at the clinical school. So I'm just getting ready to walk to uni, which is how most people will get to uni. Um, Ness, how are you gonna to get to uni today? I'm gonna to ride my bike. Sweet, I'll see you there. Yeah, I'll see you there. How's it going? Yeah, good. To introduce myself, I'm Mila. I'm a fourth year medical student here at Deakin. And we're just gonna to chat to the clinical school director. All right, let's go do it. Sounds good. with Noor, one of our junior medical educators. Oh, awesome. Yeah, good to see you. We've got some questions for the students that are interested in Ballarat. How oh, many yes. students are here? Uh, so this year, for year three, we've got 25, and year four, we've got 27, because we usually get a couple of the RCCS students. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so there's, what, however, whatever that is, 52. Um, Deakin, and there's probably about the same University of Melbourne students. So. We have the University of Melbourne here as well. Cool. What's so over 100 medical students in Ballarat, let alone Notre Dame, that are at the private hospital. So, yeah. Fantastic. And yeah. we've got lots of different staff too, don't we? We do. What do we have? We have oh, the, academic, the academic staff. We have all the topic leads. So each rotation has a topic lead. And then we have um, the clinical skills educators. So we've got three, four of those. Um, Heather and Rob are, are both um, work for us as like simulation and comms tutors as well. Um, so Heather and Rob are anaesthetists, intensivists, and Heather's an um, emergency physician. Um, we work pretty closely with the staff at University of Melbourne as well. So yeah, all heads of department. And of course our junior medical educators, they do a fantastic job with the near peer teaching program that we yeah. have here. No, yeah. I was gonna say, as a surgeon here, how are you involved in our teaching? Um, well, we as junior doctors, we are involved in non-formal teaching on the wards. Whenever we see students, we like to take the opportunity and do a bit of bedside teaching, but also some slightly more formal teaching to do tutes based on what the students um, think would be useful to them. Cool. Hmm. Thanks guys. Thank We're going to keep Thank showing you. the students around and Fantastic. see you later. Thank you. Bye. Oh, hi, Anne. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good. This is our head of general medicine at Ballarat. Could you tell us a bit about Ballarat? Uh, yeah, well, it's a great place to work and study, so, as you know. Yeah. Um, and yeah, in medicine, we have general medicine, obviously, like most regional hospitals. We also have uh, big oncology and cardiology units, as well as neurology and gastroenterology. And then each of the gen med units have uh, their own subspecialty teams attached as well. So renal, respiratory, endocrinology, orthogeriatrics, and perioperative medicine. Cool. And as the head of Gen Med at the whole hospital, how are you involved in our teaching the students? Uh, so I'm one of the topic leads for Medicine B. Um, and I guess having uh, two hats to wear in terms of the hospital and Deakin, and sort of hopefully know what's going on, can give you guys the inside word on where the good patients are and what the good clinics are to go to and those kind of things. So, um, and take you to see my patients on the water in clinic as well. So, cool. it's a good mix, I think, hopefully. Yeah, guys. definitely. Yeah. Thanks so much. That's see all. ya. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. This is Bianca one of our clinical skills educators. Hi guys, nice to meet you all. Um, just wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction of what we do here at Ballarat Clinical School with our clinical education facilitation sessions. Um, and we get the opportunity and what we try to do is to get you guys up to the ward into a real clinical environment where you're supported to do all of your clinical skills that you may wanna do. Um, we're really fortunate here at Ballarat that we're the only place that offers this. So um, 
IV cannulation, Miller, is yep. one of the things that we do. Um, venipuncture, bladder scan, 12 lead ECG, and monitoring, um, an array of things, anything, anything that you feel that you cl need clinical skills uh, attended to, then we can help you out with that. Great. Yeah, really helpful. Thanks, B. Thanks. All right. Nice. Off to the common room. Bye, Let's guys. Go. Bye. Hey, Paolo. Hey. How are you going? Good, good. good. Can I ask you a in? question? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, why did you choose that at clinical school? Well, I mean, aside from finding a place where they actually serve good coffees, shout out to Johnny's, um, I guess what I was looking for in a clinical school is where I could get a good balance of clinical experience on the wards and also have some teaching and have a personal relationship with consultants and registrars. I thought Ballarat struck a really nice balance uh, with all those factors and I'm really glad that I'm finish finishing up here as a final year student. Awesome. Thanks, Paolo. No worries. See you later. See ya. Hey guys, so that's a day at the clinical school done. Um, let's go check out Ballarat.